Welcome back to Crushed Souls. Welcome back. <coughs> Welcome back to Biscuit Souls. Crushed Biscuits. Crushed Welcome biscuits. back to Broken Biscuits. Awesome. We should change. Does, the does name that of the does that mean does that mean that we're really cheap and we come in a bag? Yep. I did you see what I did there? I uh, I constantly come in a bag. Well, that's enough about your sexual preferences, matey boy. I was gonna say it's because my this girlfriend's is... <laughs> quite old. <laughs> She's thirty eight. This is this is why they this is why you can't get carrier bags at self service they, checkouts. I was gonna say this is why she's gonna leave me. If she's watching this, she's gonna be like, Oh you motherfucker <laughs> And I'm gonna get it right in the ear. And Just like she did. <laughs> I was gonna make that joke as well. Bloody hell. Welcome to Double Entendre Souls. And rest. Rick, we've just found the sculptor's idol. We did. Guess what? Teapot. Oh, no. oh, there it is. Oh, I'm going to pet the dog. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> I'm Although, a cat person. I'm definitely going to use that the next time um, someone says to me, yeah, you can pet my dog. You're just going to jump <laughs> off. I'm just going to jump on the dog. <laughs> jump off a balcony and stab it through the head. <laughs> that's not what I meant. <laughs> well, it's what I meant. Have you not played Shakiro? Shakiro. Shakiro. <laughs> Have you not played, <laughs> Have you not played Shakira? <laughs> The hips don't lie because they're prosthetic. Well, then they are a lie. If your hips are prosthetic, they're a massive lie. Also, yeah, but it didn't work for the joke. Oh, there we Rick. go. Shuriken. Here we go. This is what we wanted. This is where we're going full on shinobi, and I'm talking the old arcade game. Shinobu. Um, uh, we can't. Yes, we can reach that. Of course, we can reach it. We can. Gonna. That's a big black cock. I was going to say that. How You've been sitting on that. <laughs> you've been waiting to say that. Because that came out far too quickly to not just be like... It was a spur of the moment thing. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> <laughs> the look on your face was like, yeah, I've been waiting to say you this. Yeah, you watch my little face light up and I'm like, I'm, I'm going there. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm gonna, going there. I'm going to do it. What I'm, an I'm gonna, absolute I'm, crazy person. I'm going to make obvious joke... 101. Well, the obvious jokes are oh, the best careful. jokes. It's true. But then again, you said you, you, you find it hard to be my friend because I make I like I really like bad jokes. Suck it. Yes. It's a shame you can't kick him off the edge. Yeah, it's a shame. Whoa, that was a bit of a nasty attack. About a third of your health. Yes. Look at that. But he's not getting out of that. There you go, mate. Give me your prayer bead and your gourd seed. I'm happy now. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this because we're no longer at a point where you're kind of smashing your head against the wall and going, fucking hate this game. I do hate this game. I do enjoy it. I I know that I know that I'm gonna probably get to a point where the controller will be thrust against a wall. Oh, well, my controller's been thrown. Not thrown. It's been chucked. Yeah. I'm too old to throw controllers now because I have to buy them back myself. Have you? Um. Did I? Did I ever send you the video? Um. That was taken without my knowledge, of me. Um. Th like throwing my controller against the wall while I was playing Flat Out Four. No. I think I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I've still got it on my phone, and I will have to send it to you because yeah, um, please do. It's literally, I'm uh, I'm I'm sat playing on my bed and um, uh, like just like yeah, fucking come on. Oh, enough with that. Don't run me against the fucking wall. Oh right, you know what? Fuck this. And I just like sling the controller, <laughs> and it just you just hear it clatter against the wall. Oh, so I've been forgetting to. Who no, no, no. See, biscuits. there you go. There you go. He's doing it. He's doing another one of the old bendy leg things. Is he? Yeah, his legs sticking right up in the air at a ninety degree angle. Well, that just doesn't seem healthy. Is it because he doesn't want to die like that? Um, that dude in Pompeii who was burnt alive while wanking. To be fair, if I was gonna be burnt alive, that's how I'd want to go. What by a, you want to be spanking Frank during the yeah. lava flow? Yeah, get some of that lava loving going. On. <laughs> That's, I mean, okay, I know that supposedly lava lamps were big in the 60s, but I don't think that's what they meant. That's where it came from. That's why <laughs> it looks like floaty jizz, because it's like... Mm. Oh, shit. 
Stop killing volcanoes to make vol to make lava lamps. Come on, yes. So you out. That, yeah, there's a guy with a gun just there. Yeah, but he's not one of the the big boys. Oh, here comes the procession. Hoover up. Oh yeah. Do you hoover in? There you go. <laughs> the, the angle of that like, oh, I just like that that just to me looked like um he was hiding and, he, and his mates had just kind of seen him and just gone, Oi cat and just like actually chucked real biscuits at him. The the way that they just both <laughs> flinched was <laughs> brilliant. The fuck was that? I was like, oh no, Chaz is dead. Is that Chaz and Dave, is it? Sh yeah. <laughs> Chaz and Dave are both royally fucked. Look at this. They're yeah. an absolute mess. Shinobi loopy. Right. Is there, isn't there something off to your left there? Inside that oh, yeah, dilapidated... There's loads of stuff in this Galapagos Islands. Yeah, uh, see? There we are. Galapagos. I don't use those balloons. No, I've not used them yet either. It's to do with wealth, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that big boy. He looks... That's what Ornstein looks like when mm. he's got no clothes on. That's Ornstein. This is this is um, before he got to Dark Souls. This is his training camp. <laughs> They've given him a Fisher-Price mallet. Are you going to go and give him a little taste of the old steel? Oh, yeah. Going to absolutely wreck his day. Say that, big boy. That, did that one respawn? Because he, he didn't... He just kind of frittered away into... White speckles. Yeah, he respawns. He does. Okay. Yeah. I know that because he's been giving me drip all day. I've never even. He's never even attacked me. Every time I've just, I've just jumped down and shanked him good. Yeah, shanked yeah. him good and proper. Did you? Mm, I did indeed. Yeah. Because uh, I don't know if you're aware, but I've now become a grime artist. Really? Yeah. Oh well. What's your What's your name? Little bitch. Little bitch. Yeah. You're gonna give me some bars. Gonna spit some bars. <laughs> I'm just gonna mumble because SoundCloud will pay me millions for that. I'm That's gonna, not I'm... grime though. That's mumble rap. They're two very different genres. Well, I'm doing music. I'm doing grime mumble rap, <laughs> or grap as it's Grimble called. Grimble grap. Grimble grap. You missed the. Oh, I've not. I'm talking about the uh, the the guy and the the old lady. I oh, know. Okay. Well. All right. I want to get fine. rid of him because when he turns around and comes back, he'll see me. You're taking it at your own pace. Who is it? Is somebody there? <laughs> Say nothing. Yes. <laughs> you can voice. just keep pissing him off. Oh, could it be? Sir? My what name is, is Inosuke Nagami, a vassal of the Hirata family. Or at least I was. Ask a favour. Might you look in on the old lady in that house? She's my mother, but her mind is failing. She cannot tell one from another. Sure thing, dude. Yep, we'll go and see your mum. This is like the old folks home. Way yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's not noticed that her house is gone. Oh, is that you, Inosuke? My son, have you seen the young master? I'm not your boy. I am not your son. The kid there you go again, Inosuke. <laughs> you always tease that I'm getting senile, but a mother knows her son. Mm. Why has she got what appear to be weird jack-o'-lantern ghosts behind her? Why wouldn't she? Have we gone into Nightmare Before Christmas territory? Yeah. Oh God, it's like being a 20-year-old goth again. I love that film. Yes, it is very good. It's like the and, best film. And I'm, it's I'm, definitely I'm, the best stop-frame animation film. Yeah, I'm actually really glad I never got the giant a Nightmare Before Christmas back piece tattoo charm that I was planning received. when I was 19. A bell charm received from an old woman who asked that it be offered to Buddha. Bell charms protect their holders through Buddha's divine protection. If one finds themselves the owner of another's bell charm, offering it to Buddha on their behalf is common courtesy. The sculptor at the dilapidated temple can advise on how it should be offered. I too was going to get a Nightmare Before Christmas tattoo. I was going to get the entire. I was, my my plan was because I have I have a tramp stamp tattoo. I have the little really. I have yeah. I have a I have a I have a tattoo on my lower back of um, the um, the AFI demon from the Art of Drowning EP. Okay. And the tattoo is to I got the work done at the time I was while I was being tattooed. I said to him that what I wanted to do was have that 
um, at the base of my spine. Then I was going to have a fire above it. And then I was going to have a big starry cityscape and all of the characters from The Nightmare Before Christmas in the skyline. That was the plan. But yeah. I'm really glad I didn't do it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because I love tattoos. I have several. Um, and But I'm one of those people where if I'm going to get really incredible artwork on my body, I like being able to see it. Yeah. And having an amazing back piece that I can't see unless someone takes a selfie of it or you know, I'm sort of trying to angle my body in the mirror, it would just annoy me. Well, I have a tattoo on my back and I keep forgetting that it's there. I always forget my tattoo on my back. It's it's ridiculous the amount of times that I've sort of like this just, is not just, gonna just come well out of the me. shower and just been like, Oh yeah, shit, I forgot about that one. Collect all your oh look at that. Getting all them bits. Right, can you make that jump? Uh, there's no item over there, look. You what about down there? Because I think I said before, there's an area that I've seen off in the distance where there are three items in a close clump. Yeah. I think it's... Is it over there? Yeah, there it is. That's the bit. Yeah. Oh, cool. No. Look at that. It looks like we're going to go get him. Spider-Man in it. Yeah. And you loved that game. Possession balloon. Possession... Oh, oh okay. there's only two. Yeah. I thought there was three. Is there another one around the other side? But what about there? There's another thing there. You're saying that? That's the boy. What is that? Oh, snake That's skin. It's a snake skin. It is. Look at the size of it. It's bloody huge. And look at that. You're getting another item. School. What's that? Scrap iron? Yeah. Is that for a uh, weapon? It's used for up upgrading the shinobi arm. Smashing stuff. Well, this is good. This is another thing for me to go back on when I play the game outside of the channel. Yeah, me too. Because I didn't get those. Well, this is it. I didn't I, even see that. Snake I, skin. I just saw. I just saw those as I was kind of wandering about and thought, "Oh, I won't make that jump. I'll die if I jump off." So I'm not going to. But now you're with me. You're feeling brave. Well, that's gaming bravado, <laughs> mate. And we all know. How <laughs> I'm the one who's done. It. I'm the one doing it. <laughs> we all know how well that ends for me. Yeah, you can make that. Yeah, you can make that jump. Cool. Oh, no. oh. You can make it, Christy. We can oh, yeah. make it. Right. right, upwards, onwards. Where are we now? See, I'm one hit away from dying. So Have you not I'm got any health? You got um, you got, got pellets. some pellets. Eat some pellets. Ah, oh, or give the wall a hug first. Yeah, be a be a pacifist. Give the, wall. give the wall a snuggle. Although spoon wall. Is that a dude there? Yeah. If I remember correctly. Oh, the merchants there. Yeah, the merchants there. Which means, God damn it! I don't think you can grab onto that, can you? Doesn't look like it. Go, go, go! We'll chat go to the merchant. Way. I know you. Yeah, you're that good sir, Shinobi sir. I haven't seen you since. Well, since that night. That night. What night? Hmm? This is just remember. this is just two friends in the smoking oh. area of a club talking oh. about what happened last I time they see. went out. You don't remember. Hmm. Listen, sir. You and I, we've met before. I was a thief back then. But those days are behind me now. I'm an uptight and honest merchant. Only problem is, I'm broke. And being broke, I don't have anything to sell. So good sir, would you mind lending me just a few coins to get my business going? I'll stock something useful just for you. You bet I will. And as a little bonus, I'll tell you about that night. Well, what do you think? Pretty good deal, right? Mm. Well, he's got a wicker basket and a spinning top in his possession. <laughs> Thanks, good sir. I'm just now talk. Can I buy the fire? Yes, 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 of course. That night, my gang broke into the Harata estate. Now, as you're aware, the Harata family is part of the Ashina. Normally, they'd mop the floor with petty thieves like us, no sweat. But it just so happens we broke in during a battle. Almost all the young samurai were away from home. It was a prime opportunity. Then we started a fire and cleaned out the place. That's when I met you. You were looking for something. At least that's what it looked like to me. That's all I know about that night. I see. Yeah. That look you're making now. You had the same look on your face that night. You still looking for something? Just pause his dick out. <laughs> Just selfie Listen, count. good sir. For a price, I might be able to sell you some other tidbits that you might find useful. For a price, of course. I'm a merchant now, you know. 
That's what you God, got. imagine imagine doing that. Imagine doing that in real life. Well, like, you know, you're on the tube. How do I get to uh, King's Cross Station? It'll cost, you. It'll cost you. I need a hundred sen. I'm an honest and upright <laughs> merchant, you know. Mind you, that might happen after Brexit. In this tube, a tube with fire blasting out of it. You might want to get that broken to the Harata estate. One of my pals nabbed one. <laughs> Makes Bro. explosive sounds with mouth. Ooh, cool. lucrative info. You see, I didn't pay him. I, I only paid him 50, and then I was like, no, you don't have any more of my money. That's one good thing I have noticed. They've bothered to put talking animations in to the game. Yeah. No, I can't remember how to get up. Like that. We'll wait until your alarm goes off, and then... <laughs> Crap jokes, 101. Oh. oh, look, you're being accosted. By a... <laughs> Porn, porn hub. Young samurai gets destroyed by a big backpack. <laughs> you see, I don't want to use this pallet because there's a save point just there. But I, I feel like I'm gonna get you are gonna get wrecked destroyed. by that rooster. What? No, no, you're not. You've done very well. There we are. There Look we that. go. All right. Well, this seems like as good a place as I need to leave it for today. So thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Lovely stuff. Until next time.